There's two ways you can maximize your damage in Genshin Impact. The first way is to wail and simply pull Constellation 6 character or 5 star weapon. Now for those of us who are less fortunate, we have to resolve to the second way which is to use math to figure out what's the best way to maximize your damage. Hey, welcome back. Today I want to talk about how to maximize your damage in Genshin Impact for your main DPS using the Golden Ratio. Before we get started, I want to give credits to this Chinese user named Numinous who wrote very, very detailed posts on the map behind it as well as the golden ratio who helped me understood a lot when doing my research on how to increase my damage. So thank you very much for this Chinese user Luminous. So what is the golden ratio in Genshin Impact? I know it is about 200% attack, 70% crit rate, and 140% crit damage. So this is your goal when you're trying to optimize your artifact is to hit these number so the first thing we have to understand is what is the maximized volume problem and how does it affect damage in Genshin Impact. The maximizing area or volume problem is simply when given an equation potentially two-dimensional or higher, you want to try your best to optimize the value. However, they usually come with some constraint. For example, given a f of x function, x times y, we want to try to make the results as big as possible. Now, normally what you would do is just make x very very big and make y very very big, so you get a very very big number. However, life is not always so simple and usually we have something that we have to follow in order to try to make the number big. For example, x cannot be smaller than 0 and cannot be greater than 10. y cannot be smaller than 0 and y cannot be greater than 10. Now you might say, okay, then I'll just make x and y equals to 10, then that's my biggest number that I can possibly achieve. While that is true, we have to follow an additional constraint, which is x plus y must be less than or equal to 10. This limits our option of x and y and we cannot just simply make both of them 10. For example, if we choose x to be 10, then y can only be possibly be 0 because choosing y equals to 1 or higher will result in a number equals to 11 or bigger, which is failing our constraint. And a optimization problem like this where you're trying to optimize the function with subject to some bound or constraint is the basis of a optimization problem and it's the problem we're trying to solve here. Going back to the example we just described before for the x times y, here you can see that some possible value of choice is x equals to 8 and y equals to 2, which results in 8 times 2 or 16. However, know that a bigger possible solution would be 5 times 5, which is satisfying our constraint, but with the results of 25. And 25 is definitely bigger than 16, so you can see that how choosing different number might result in a bigger number in the end. So, how does it affect our damage in Genshin Impact? Well, your damage in Genshin Impact can be modeled in a formula similar to the fashion that we described. In other words, like your attack multiplied by the skill actually be multiplied by some other stuff. And what's really more important is that in Genshin Impact, your artifact have a cost function. Here, you can see that I have an attack percent uh, hat. However, this hat could potentially be a critical damage hat instead. So, by choosing the attack percent hat, I cannot get critical damage on my main stat in my hat. And this is so much true for a substat as well. When you increase your substat, you can only increase one at a time. Meaning that if you get a critical damage increase, you're not get a crit rate increase, so you can only choose between one or the other when you're increasing your substat. Now taking a look at how artifact work in Genshin Impact, you can kind of see that attack percent to crit rate to critical damage followed approximately by a 3 to 2 to 4 ratio. Meaning that for every single stat point that you get, you can increase your attack percent by 3 or your critical rate by 2 or your critical damage by 4. This is the same for a substat as well. And so our constraint can be approximated using the following method. Now, in Genshin Impact, uh, your stat actually go up non-linearly and so they go up in step in like step function. However, for the purpose of this uh, calculation, a approximation using a linear function is good enough. Now, the purpose of this video is not to solve it, so I'll just tell you the results in that. However, if you're interested in knowing how to solve them, feel free to google them on YouTube and it's left as an exercise to the readers. So, with all those being said, here's actually how to maximize your damage. Starting off with the damage bonus that uh, your character is mostly going to be doing some type of damage bonus. For example, you could be doing physical damage bonus or in the loose case, a power damage bonus. These should be pushed as high as possible because there's only so many source of them. The major source of this is going to be your goblet or your uh, artifact set, which is the two piece bonus here providing me 15% pyro damage. This stat is very very limited and it's only available in so many places so therefore this is the reason why you should be pushing this as much as possible. Note that for stuff like increasing your normal attack damage by 45%, these are also considered damage bonus 
and is additive with the bonus that I just showed you, which is going to be these bonus, even though it doesn't show here. So you can definitely go with these damage as well, however, only if they're applicable. For example, if your primary damage can come from your normal attack damage, then you can definitely consider using this. And this is one of the reasons why the Retreating Sake Bullet set is really really strong because it gives a 40% normal and charge attack damage which is considered a damage bonus and is factored into that category in the damage formula. The only problem is that you need a shield for it to actually proc. So if you have a constant shield, uh, shield source, this could be a very very uh, worthwhile consideration as well. The next step after that is going to be try to match your stat to the golden ratio as much as possible which we described at the beginning of this video and that golden ratio is going to be 200% attack or to be exact 212% attack and then 70% crit rate and 140% critical damage. So starting out with the attack, you want to push your attack to 200%. The easier way to tell is just to look at your detail and look at the white number and the green number. Your green number should be approximately equal or a bit bigger than your white number. And that's the best way to get your damage. Here you can see that my Deluke have 1300 uh, in the green number but only 800 in the white number. What this actually means is that I have too much attack and I'm wasting potential stats. So I could be doing more damage if to say I were to give up some attack. Maybe to give up this Protolite Animus weapon for a critical damage weapon instead and I'll be able to do more damage. And once you have 200% attack, you want to start working on your critical stat. Uh, I want to make a quick short notice that critical stat is only worth if you can push to 40-80, meaning that at 40% crit rate and 80% critical damage, that's when you will see start to see the gain from critical over attack. Although, however, you can definitely start working on your crit even though you don't have meet those uh, threshold. Uh, and if you remember, the golden ratio is that a uh, 70 crit rate to uh, 140 critical damage. Here, I have 140 critical damage already, but I do not have 70 crit rate. So this is how I know that the next thing I want to get is definitely the crit rate instead of more crit damage or something like that. So let's go back to once again to the weapon. I can definitely look for a critical rate weapon here and it'll increase my overall damage. Now to properly demonstrate it, once again I've had to do the Genshin Impact Calculator to show you guys a practical example. Here you can see I have my Deluke with the artifact and my weapon correctly inputted. So I have the Prototype Animus at level 80, my level 80 Deluke, and all my uh, attack percent, like artifacts and stuff. Uh, look, You can look at the left side of the screen, you can see these values pretty much matching up with the actual Deluke that I'm using right now with the uh, 2120 attack which might have just like a couple more. This is like a rounding error actually. And then the 42% critical rate and the 140-ish percent critical damage. Now, if you remember what I said, I said that I have way too much attack and not enough critical rate because that is what the golden ratio say. And so let's see what happened if we switch some of the stat around here. We have 15.8% uh, on this attack and 10.1% uh, critical rate. And so our average DPS is 5,472. So 15.8% attack is approximately equal to like a 10% critical damage rate gain uh, if we go by the ratio. So let's see what happens if we turn this off and give us more critical rate, which is 10%-ish. So it's all the way to like, let's say 20. And here you can see that our DPS went up by approximately uh, 100. And, and this is because we're matching more closely to the golden ratio and as, as mentioned before that uh, on my Deluke I am having too much attack percent and I have too little critical rate so this is how I know to uh, instead of looking for more attack percent I need to look for replacing my attack percent with critical rate and thus I can be doing more damage. As a final remark, there's a couple stuff I want to talk about. This golden ratio formula thing doesn't factor in like other factors such as your team composition or like you can providing a vaporized reaction. In that case, maybe you want to do more elemental mastery instead. It really depends on like how you're drafting your team and how you're playing your game. Uh, and of course, the golden ratio is just an estimate. It's not an exact value. So it's not to say like, oh, just hit this exact value and you can do this max damage. However, I do think it's a really good estimation of what stat you're missing or what stat you have too much and what stat you need to work on. As you can see in my case, it does tell me that I have way too much attack percent instead I need to get more critical rate percent. Uh, so this is the reason why I wanted to make the video. I think it's really educational. With that being said, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.